everybody it's your girl Nisha we're back at you with another video and today is vlogmas day six Hassan is talking to you guys so today in this video we're gonna start our potty training routine and it's your boy Zaza say hey Zaza and it's your boy Son Son say hi everybody Okay, you over here choking on his food. You okay, you okay. So as you see, they're eating lunch right now, and then um, I'm going to change their clothes and change their diapers, and then um, I have their milk up here. So they're going to drink their milk, and then we're going to see um, how they do with the potty. And then I'm gonna go um, over and tell you some things that worked for us when we had Amir, when he was potty trained um, at a very early age. All right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, I'm back. Um, the twins are changed, they're finished eating their lunch. They have a clean diaper, they have a onesies on so that it's easy for us to put them on the toilet. Um, yeah, so they're finishing their bottle. So while they're finishing, I'm going to show you the potty that we use for Amir and the potty that we're using um, for the twins as well. So this is the potty here that we're going to be using. This is the same potty that we used for Amir when we potty trained him. So we're going to um, open it and show you guys. And I do not receive any type of promotion funds from this advertisement. Show you guys real quick. And this is a cute little potty. It looks like a real toilet. So here's the um, the bottom part of the toilet. As you see, it looks like a real potty. This is the same exact one that we used for a mirror. And so it has this is the little stopper that basically um so that the pee doesn't go flying everywhere. So you go ahead and you snap that on. Definitely need this part if you have boys. Um, and then there comes a little, a little uh, pan, uh, pan that the pee and poop goes in. And then you also have the back of the toilet that goes on here. And this is like a little compartment that you could put toys and books and stuff in that they'll use when they um, when they're sitting on the toilet. And then you have a little. Um, a little compartment here too and this is supposed to flush i'm not sure what's going on we just bought this but it, it looks like it's like rust on the bottom so i might have to take this back because it has not even making any type of sound um i'll probably have my husband open it up and see what's going on there this it has like rust or something it doesn't even work you see it we just bought this and then it comes with a little screw that you put in the inside here to hook it onto the toilet. So I'll hook that on later. And then there's supposed to be, supposed to be a lid too. Well, I'm gonna have to take this back to Walmart. Oh no, my husband has a lid, my bad. But look how dirty it is in the inside. Is this thing used? like mad dirty and stuff and I literally just bought this from Walmart today so I don't know we'll, we'll see what, what happens maybe because it's been in the box for so long I don't know but it was closed mate the only open area was right here I don't know we'll see so guys coming to find out someone used this and I guess took it back to Walmart there's hair inside the potty my husband took it look at the yellow stuff it looks like 
like pee. And then right here, he opened it up and it was just all rusted and stuff in the inside. So I'm gonna take this back to Walmart. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And we're definitely going to return this and get a new one. And it's so cold outside, now I gotta go. And you know how the lines are when you go into Walmart this time of year, it's like very crowded. So I'm gonna have to wash my hands and take this back. And look at the bottom, look at all the hair on the bottom, y'all. Look. This has clearly been used. Look at that. It's from somebody's bathroom. It's crazy. So yeah, we're gonna take this back. I might not even, I don't know, get this back again. Look at this one every time. I knew it was gonna be crazy. Look at this one. And I have to stand in it. It's returning to toilet. If someone decided to do the toilet and return to use toilet. Yeah. Y'all, I don't understand how someone could be so disgusting. Like, I'm so mad now. I was touching it and everything, not knowing that someone had used it. So, I guess we'll try again and see, hopefully this time, if it's um, a brand new toilet. Just cash. I'm gonna just go get another one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm back from Walmart. Let's try this again. The register. The lady at the register had a nerve to be like, "Really?" When I said that. The toilet was used. She was like, really? Oh uh, yeah, I said I bought this two, uh, two hours ago and that it has urine and hair in the inside. The hair clearly looked like it was from a dog. We don't have a dog. And if it wasn't from a dog, it was very fine hair that isn't an African-American's hair. So I was like, yes, it was used. I just bought it. And then she asked me if I wanted um, it back on the card or if I wanted cash. I told her I wanted cash because I'm going to buy another one. And so, we have the new one here, so let's try this out again. People are so, like, trifling. And then you won't have a nerve to say, really? Oh, uh, yeah. That's why I don't really be fooling with Walmart like that. All right, this one is actually clean. And we actually don't need two because we actually still have Amir's old one. His is just missing, um, his is missing this part. It's been missing for a long time. So we don't have that part, but we can still use it. So, okay, see, everything came in a box here. The other one was just thrown in a box. I should've known something from that. Normally that's why I shop with Target. And actually, the, um, when I was driving home, the flusher start going. So this actually has a real flusher. That's how it's supposed to sound. So every time they um, go, they can act like they're flushing the toilet. And so now the twins are, oh, they're actually asleep now. So when they wake up, I'm going to um, put them on the toilet as soon as they wake up. Because you know how it is, guys. When you wake up, first thing you have to do is use the bathroom. So when they wake up, I'm going to put them on. And then, I'm going to set this up real quick. And I already have um, Amir's old potty set up in the bathroom, so don't have to really. And his already cleaned out and everything. Because one thing about Amir is the reason we still have his potty, because when we used to travel all the time, um, we would always put the potty in the back of our car so that he could use the bathroom while we were traveling so we didn't have to stop. Um, so often and it really did work. We actually got that idea from our aunt. Uh, that's what she did with her daughter. So um, We started doing it from here and it works. Do you know where that screwdriver is? Which one? I need the, the one that um, it's like a bigger screwdriver. So yep. So I'm 
sitting here. I'm gonna set this up real quick. Get everything together. Said this was at Walmart for $25. Uh, make sure you check before you purchase your item. So disgusting. When I was taking it back, I just felt so disgusting. Like, I should have actually taken my gloves, but I don't even think we have any more gloves. Is it? So nasty. Just imagine you're touching someone else's urine. Like, I don't mind touching my kid's urine, but as a stranger that you don't know whose urine it is, where it came from, trifling. So, this you put coins to here. And actually, when Amir had this toilet, his grandma actually bought it for him when he was one year old. She actually bought it for him, I think it was, was it for his birthday? Yep, I think it was his birthday. Yeah, it was his birthday because he started, um, he was potty trained right after his birthday. So, and he's been potty trained ever since. No accidents, no nothing. He had pull-ups and he went from pull-ups to underwear. Because it was like, boy, it's too expensive, like, like diapers. So it was like, uh-uh, you got to earn real quick. And it was so crazy because the school that he was going to, he was the only one potty trained at one years old in his class. And the teachers were so lazy that they wouldn't even take him to the bathroom. And like he would do it at home and then they would say that he used it on, on himself at school. And we was like, okay, why is he using it on himself at school, but he's not using it on himself at home? Coming to find out they weren't, they were too lazy to take him to the bathroom. So that's um, when we switched him to another school. And a lot of the kids in his class, of course, you know, they weren't potty trained. So they were just, like I said, too lazy to take him to the bathroom. So it was like, oh no, we gotta find a new school. So that's when we found Bright Scholars, which I really miss Bright Scholars in Florida. Okay, y'all, okay, so this is how it looks. Everything's hooked up. It's like a real, a real potty. All right, we're just gonna wait for the twins to wake up and then we'll start our party, party training um, routine and we'll see how it works for today. So like I said, this is day one of their party training. They have never been introduced to a party. They've never even set on a party, but they are both walking now. So it's time for them to go ahead and start using the pipe. All right guys, see you soon. Right here. Hold on guys, let me help you. So we got this bullet. Use the pot pot. This is a pot pot. So it's good to give them a book or a toy or something so that it keep them occupied while they're sitting on the toilet. So we got a book about trucks. A book. Is that a book? No, that's Zaza's toilet. See, this is Amir's old toilet. I told you it's missing a back, and then this one has a complete backing on it. You sit there, you read your book. Uh -oh. 20 minutes 
later, we're still sitting here. He's drinking a bottle. He has his toys. Zion is still asleep. So I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer until he does something. Patience is the key. Wait and be patient. Just let him play with his toys. He has his book up here. He has his bottle. What? Is it good? It's cold? Is it cold? Mmm. I put some oil in his hair while he was sitting here. Just sitting and waiting. Right, Sunshine? Is it good? Guys, look! There's Pee Pee in the party! Go, Sun Sun! Go, Sun Sun! Go, Sun Sun! Go, go! You Pee Pee! You Pee Pee! You Pee Pee! You Pee Pee! Go, Sun Sun! Go, Sun Sun! Go, Sun Sun! The first day, y'all! Sun Sun Pee in the party! So, Zion just woke up and he's sitting on the party. See, the sun has his Pee Pee in there. Zion, and then you got a mirror right here. I just woke up from a nap. I was putting oil in Zion's hair. So now we're gonna see what he does. Maybe he's gonna poop. I don't know. Hopefully he does poop. We'll see what he does. Take his bottle. No, you had a bottle. Um, That's not yours. No. No. That's not nice to sign. No. No. Say no. No, it's not nice.
Okay, guys, I'm here sitting um, sitting with Zion as he uses the bathroom again um, because he drank that bottle, so I don't want to make sure that he has all of that out of him. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, what I learned from potty training Amir, um, people normally always say that potty training starts at a certain age. You should be this age, you should be that age. One thing that I learned is if you think that your child can do it and if you just be consistent and, and take the time and be patient, then they really can do it. There's no specific time that you have to start. Hey, say. There's no specific time that, um, you know, that you should start. You know, just go for it and whatever, um, you know, I hope that it works for you like it works for us. Like I said, Amir done it. Um, the first day he started walking, he was introduced to the pot. The twins both start walking last week. Um, Hassan walks a little bit more than Zion, but I'm not going to let that stop him from using a potty either. You know, you just got to, um, we're just going to sit here and we're going to do it, right? Right? See, he has toys and he's content. So you just let him sit here until he does it. And then, um, of course, give them a treat or uh, praise them like dancing give them stickers, um, whatever treats that your kids like, you know, their favorite treats, just give them that once they um, use the pie. And just, you know, guys, just go for it and let me know if I can help you um, in any way or if you need any type of tips or, um, you know, you have any questions, just leave it down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. All right, guys, bye. Say bye. Say bye-bye.